All right, so I am at lichess.org, battling the stockfish level 5, 1700. And I'm making the video, this video for a couple reasons. Number one, I played the black pieces and made a sacrifice of a minor piece to open up some files so that my major piece could come into play. And number two, I, just for my own personal records, I really surprised myself with this game. And the uh, computer says I played at 94%. And Stockfish level 5, 1700 played at an 88%. Uh, I normally don't play that high, but uh, I normally can beat level 5, but level 6 I haven't been able to beat yet. So anyway, let's get to it because I want to show... <laughs> Pawn jumped out there. Um, the game and the sacrifice and... Uh, a pretty neat end game as well. Um, so if you're new to chess, just try to control the center and develop your minor pieces. And then your major pieces will come into play usually later, which is your rooks and your queen. Okay. And so right now, I think that um, Stockfish1700 and I both are doing a pretty good job of controlling the center. And you've seen here, my rook was attacked and I just went back and I was expecting this and it does happen. And this is kind of the key to me opening up these files. Um, so let's see. Now here, I want to point this out. I didn't quite know what to do. So I saw this semi-open file, semi-open file because it only has one pawn on it. So I thought, well, when I don't know what else to do, I'll just try to con control that semi-open file. I, and I totally should have pushed this pawn because um, I've got um, some good things happening. I've got the queen um, protecting this. And if the knight right now would take anyway, I would get the queen. So, and I've got these double stacked pawns. And this would, you know, if this pawn would have came here, I could have dealt with that situation. So, um Totally should have done that, but here's finally what I expected to happen. Um, and so this is what I wanted to try. So, so now I lost a major, uh, I'm sorry, I lost a minor piece, but um, I took two pawn and opened up the files in front of the king. So um, that's, uh, you know, good for me bad for my opponent so I want to get my pieces working together now and here let's go back I I should be looking to get these major pieces lined up because remember one piece by itself can't do much even the queen uh, I should have been looking to do that um, and I missed it but I do get there here eventually and I have to be careful because I do realize that this knight can uh, does control that square and so now here this when I'm trying let me go back just a little bit when I'm trying to decide I've got two ways to bring my opponent into check one is here and one is here and I decided to do the queen exchange and that knight is attacking my rook but I have a plan for that because I'll do my second take which puts the king in check has to be dealt with now I can get my rook out of trouble and at the same time um, get up on that. I know it's technically the second rank, but from my perspective, the seventh rank. And this, when you see, this is called uh, pigs on the seventh um, because they can swing back and forth and eat anything that gets in their way. And this is an absolute pin on this rook, so it cannot take that bishop. So I decided to do that. It's back to check. Now I'm going to lose my rook, but I took my opponent's rook just because I'm aiming for an easier end game. And so you basically now have rook versus knight. And plus I'm up several pawn. So I definitely wanted to just play clean chess at this point. And um, now this is important. You see, the first thing I did is got my king in front of these two pawns. These two, 
advancing pawn are difficult to stop. Um, so, and my dog agrees. But in this situation, you want your king on top of your pawn so that um, you can uh, promote them without uh, losing them. Uh, normally, if you have a major piece, you want your major piece under the pawn. But I, let's go back a step. Uh, you know, there is one thread still out there that night, and I'm going to eliminate that. Now, normally, this would be a bad idea to trade a uh, rook for a knight. However, I've just eliminated my last possible threat, and now with clean chess, I should be able to win. And now, with the king up against the board, um, the, uh, the A file, I'm able to pin it there. And Stockfish will go for a stalemate, so make sure your opponent always has a square to move to. And then that's mate. So, a lot of fun, good game. Um, I'd already made a video where I played the white pieces on the same uh, Stockfish level 5. So, uh, But I wanted to do this one. Um, the biggest takeaway is um, look for opportunities, look for those open files, and use your pieces together. And sometimes even if you sacrifice a piece to get that open file, um, that can work out well for you. So anyway, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.